All right, guys, so in the last video, I was working on this form that pretty much uh, shows you the select box and you can see all the options that we can select to update for. Now, the problem is that we don't have any uh, of the guilds or the guild roles and we need to actually get that. So the, what we're going to do in this video is we're first going to fetch all of the guild roles and then we're going to send that to the front end. And then the next video after this one, we're going to actually be able to update it. So we have to do two things, but we're going to take it one step at a time. So first thing I'll do is I'm going to go to my backend. So Discord, uh, or not Discord, dashboard backend inside the discord.js file under the routes folder. We're going to go ahead and set up a get endpoint because we need to fetch resources from the Discord API. So we need to actually get the guild ID. And we're going to go ahead and leave this as the route. I completely forgot about this. I forgot to mention this in the last video, but it's, it's not really that difficult though. So what we're going to do is we're going to destructure the guild ID from the rec.params object. And then what we want to do is we want to make an API call similar to how we kind of did over here. If you guys can uh, see this. We basically want to call uh, the Discord endpoint and we want to call this URL. Let me show you real quick. We want to call slash guild slash guild ID roles, and this will return all of the roles. So let's go ahead and just copy this. Let's paste that. And we'll just call the function get guild roles. And this time the URL is going to be guilds, guild ID. So we need the guild ID. Okay, so guild ID, or not guild ID, guild ID, and then roles. So we're passing the guild ID as a parameter. And you know what I'm gonna do actually is, let me do this, const uh, discord API. And I'll just paste the base URL in there. Let me just do some refactoring real quick. Okay, there we go. And then we'll do the same thing here. I think that should be good. Okay, so this is going to be a get and the headers, you need to make sure the bot token is correct. If you get any errors, it's likely that you're receiving a 401 unauthorized, which means that your bot token is uh, incorrect. Okay, because we need the bot token inside header. Okay, and let's go ahead and export this function. And then we're going to go ahead and do this cons rules equals 08 get guild roles and we'll pass in the guild id and we basically want to actually try catch this in case of an error happens so in case of an error happens we will catch it so if any error happens we will uh, return a status of i guess we can do 500 or 400 send Actually, I'll do 500. So this is fine. And then we'll go here and uh, we can do res.status or we can just do res.send and then rules. So let's go ahead and test this route. So we're gonna have to go back into the front end. We're gonna go to api.js in the front end now. And I'm just going to do the same thing, but this time I'm gonna call get guild rules. And we're gonna pass in the guild ID. And we need to call slash guilds slash guild ID slash roles. And we're not going to have any uh, request body. Whoops. Let me just make sure this is okay. Oh, wait. It's supposed to be gets. Okay, there we go. Uh, and I think that should be fine. So now we got to go into, let's see. All right, so now you're going to notice the issue that I briefly mentioned, I think in my streams as well as my previous videos, where we need to end up calling the API over and over again. You can see right over here that uh, we are already making one, two, two API calls. And now we need to make another API call. Okay, so we need to first let's get rid of set loading because this is what I forgot to do a couple videos ago. So let's get rid of that first. And we need to actually go up here, roles, set rules. We're going to declare state variables and this is going to be an array. And we're going to go ahead and just simply return get guild rules match.params.id, just like that. And then down here, we're going to chain the prompts again. 
and then we'll set loading down here because then we're going to be done loading. We'll console log the data and we'll set the rules to data. Okay, so if I go to the front end application right now, and if I go here, I think we may have gotten an error, but let's try this now. Uh, let's see, let me just make sure, let's go here. So it seems like uh, we got an error. So it says four, four not found. Oh, you know what it was, we know what it was. I actually forgot to mention this. In the last video, inside API.js and on the front end, I did port 3000. This should actually be port 3001. I apologize for that because our server's on port 3001. Okay, it's, it's not port 3000 because that's our React app. So now let's go back here and let's go to menu. So just make sure you guys fix that. All right, so let's see, where is roles? Was roles not fetched? Oh wait, whoops, we gotta go here. So you see right over here, we have all of our roles. We have uh, all of these four roles. If I go to the Discord server, okay, so if I go here and if I show you the roles on the server, it's literally the same thing. If I add a new role and if I refresh, you're gonna see that it's fetching new data all the time. So this data is not stale, it's fetching the new role as well. So basically every time we make a request to this endpoint or to this uh, page, it's going to give us all of the updated rules. Okay, so hopefully that is pretty straightforward. Now, what do we have to do with this data now? So we need to first pass as a prop. So set rules, we're gonna go over here, rules equal rules. And then we're gonna go inside a dashboard menu. And we're going to take in the rules as a prop. Okay, so now just to make sure that it's actually truthy, we will console log it. Okay, you can see that it's right over here. Perfect. Okay, line 15. It's logged on line 15. Perfect. So we know that it's truthy. So now we're going to get rid of these options. Like I mentioned in the previous video, we were hard coding everything. We, we need to make this dynamic. So the way that we're going to do this is, well, first of all, before I even continue, you need to kind of understand how select boxes work. So with a select box, you have this value attribute, and this is the actual value that is going to be passed in whenever we uh, click on the submit button. So for example, the value of this needs to be unique so we know uh, which data to update in the database. So we're actually going to assign the value of this to the role ID. And for the actual text for the option, it's going to be the rule name. So the way we're going to do this is first, let's delete all this. We're going to specify a pair of curly braces because we want to transform a list and we're going to reference rules. This is an array. So we're going to call dot map. And then we're going to go ahead and iterate through every single role object inside that role array. And remember, basically what we're doing here is we're just simply iterating through the map and we're transforming every object that's inside that array into a, a JSX element. So we're going to transform to an option value role.id and then role.name. So now if I save, watch this. Look at that. Look at that. If I click update role, you're going to see the default role is going to be the role ID. If I click this, you can see the rule IDs over there. There's the rule ID. There's the rule ID. But you can see that it's always updating all the time. Okay, the reason why it's uh, throwing an error right now is because we uh, are passing in null and it's saying 404 not found. And we also haven't implemented that endpoint yet. So we'll have to do that in the next video. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty straightforward on how you can get the data and then display it in a list or in a select box like this. So hopefully. Uh, this makes sense. In the next video, we're going to set up the put endpoint so that we can actually make the request to the endpoint to update the default role. All right, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.